this is Sheru here and Sheru is extremely happy because she is going to talk with someone special and important who has agreed to talk with us. So I'm going to talk with an artist, a transgender activist, a painter, a writer. Well, all of this rolled into one, Miss Kalki Subramaniam. So let's not waste any of our time and let's connect with her immediately. Yes, ma'am. So, how did you start doing the art form, ma'am? I mean, you're you're not just a painter, but a writer, and you're an activist too. So, how did it all begin? So, can you tell us about your first painting, and what was in it? Like, what was basically your emotions in portraying on the painting, and how did you feel about selling it for the first time? Because until then, it was just for yourself, and for your close ones just showing it to your close ones but then when you took it as your professional work as your career the first feat of uh, you know the first mark i have done it and i'm going to show it to the world and i'm going to put a price to it because you know it's worth it because i know it's worth it so how did you feel about selling it and showing it to the world this is worth this much so what happened ma'am what can you explain about, about it uh, my first painting was a watercolor you see, my my first painting was a watercolor, I think so, mm. and it was a painting that I drew of Mira singing about Krishna. Okay. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that is my painting, and I actually gifted my first painting to my first boyfriend. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who is still my best friend. Okay. Yeah, it's Okay, ma'am, it's your school love. I mean, it's very special because you did it using your paint, your brush, your emotions, and then you gifted it. Okay. Ma'am, uh, so can you talk about the first painting which you sold? What was the one I sold? I think it was hard. I sold my first painting with a horse. A horse? Yes, it was a horse. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Why a horse? If it, it did it in how many specimens? I love animals. I love elephants. Mm -hmm. I love horses. Mm. Um, I love elephants and horses very mm. much. How, for how much did you sell it, ma'am? Because, you know, when people are starting out, especially young artists, they don't know how to price their artwork. But, uh, you know, even when they're starting out, you'll be like, okay, is my art worth this much? Am I pricing it too much? Am I pricing it too for too little? So that dilemma occurs, right, ma'am? So how did you overcome it? Like, how did you fix the price? Okay, my painting is worth this much. How did you come to a conclusion? This much. How did you come to a conclusion? I sold my painting for 20,000 rupees, my first mm -hmm. painting. It was a large artwork. It was an acrylic painting on canvas uh, on a stretched canvas oh. uh, i use i always use the best right from my first painting till today i use a world class quality paint material art mm -hmm. material only i found my first artwork which was a pop art horse mm -hmm. a realistic pop art horse for i know you're an artistic person is it because like is it like a personal mission of yours how and where did you get the strength to do this mm -hmm. Is it because is it like a personal mission of yours? How and where did you get the strength to do this? There is something called as inner strength, passion, and anger. I think all these things put up together. Passion, mm -hmm. anger, inner strength, all this uh, twirled up. And then but the anger is something uh, considered a negative force. But for me, it was, it was where it was grounded. I saw all the injustices done to the transgender people right from my young age, and I there was this fire in me which was really actually negative. But then I turned it into a very positive mm. uh, to make it uh, uh, as a strength, as an energy. So we'll talk about your art form then. Uh, yeah. Pop yeah. pop art has influenced a lot of your work, as far as we have observed. So especially works of Buddha and. Um, Portraits of Frida Kahlo. So, is there any yeah. particular reason you were inspired to paint them, or is it just because you like them and you paint them? Um, I think, like Frida, mm -hmm. I was unable to conceive uh, a baby. I'm also unable to uh, conceive a baby, no matter what. She wasn't 
and she was unable to conceive okay. a baby. And I too will never be able to conceive a baby, of course. Mm. And um, in ways, uh, she was a queer woman, and I am also a queer transgender woman. Mm. Okay, and uh, she uses art uh, as an expression of herself, and I use art and poetry as an expression of uh, myself. Yeah. And um, uh, I think um, I love flowers, and she loves flowers. Yeah. And she was a feminist, and I am a feminist. Mm. And um, and she loves. She dresses up really amazing, and I think I dress up really well. Yes, ma'am. Um, yeah, these are some of the reasons. But beyond all that, mm. I think uh, I found her to be really a uh, very very interesting personality, way ahead of her time. So mm. I was attracted. I see that, Carlo. I loved painting Sarah Carlo. Mm. And I also like Amrita uh uh, uh Amrita Sher. Of course, the Indian painter. Okay. Mm. Yeah, Amrita Sher uh is also my favorite mm. painter of course. Mm. Um like well, there are many painters as well mm. who I really admire. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. How? What about uh, Buddha? Uh, what about Buddha? Ma'am. Uh, so you've been an you are an entrepreneur. So can you tell us about it? The the feeling of being an entrepreneur. What do you like the best about it? And what do you um, you know, not like much about it? In terms of gender, also. I think when you begin to face success, then it's nothing like that. You really enjoy being an entrepreneur. Initially, I suffered so much, but now mm. uh, I'm beginning to face more and more success mm. uh, in selling my artwork as well as my um, transgender person's art and mm. And so, uh, art and entrepreneurship is really an enjoyable experience. Yes, you're not only really just going up, but you're also taking. I'm helping other people. Yeah. And that that makes me so happy and so blessed. Yes, ma'am. You're holding other people towards the goal. I mean, yes. you're taking them yes. up. Too. Yes, absolutely. Ma, so here is these one. days. Like, can you suggest any other medium beyond Instagram, beyond Facebook? Um, no, not LinkedIn. I'm sorry. LinkedIn is actually for corporate people. Mm -hmm. uh, beyond mm -hmm. Facebook and Instagram, I think uh, Twitter is also one way out to reach people. And mm -hmm. Behance. Yes, Behance is a wonderful medium from Adobe. Mm -hmm. uh, so, can you can you give one advice to artists or artists who are here very confused on how to price their artwork? So sometimes you can. I think for all those who mm -hmm. are confused, um, I think uh, uh, art is a process. It's a never-ending ending process. So keep mm -hmm. on learning, keep on doing art. Uh, mm -hmm. Use the right quality materials. Use the material. Of the highest quality and uh, keep all your art precious. And um, um, most importantly, you social media is one thing that you definitely need to use. Mm. Uh, keep consistently painting, consistently posting your work on social media, and uh, more than that, keep on learning and improving your skills, and definitely you'll be uh, over the top. So. If you are given the power to change the world for a day, what do you think you would change for yourself, for your transgender community people, just the just the world in general? What would you like to change? What would you change? I don't think that you would say that. I mean, <laughs> yes. Okay, ma'am. So, uh, I think that's all the questions I have and have in my hand. Oh, your questions are amazing. And I really love them so much. It's a good one, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That I didn't. I didn't think that you would say that. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Okay, ma'am. So, uh, I think that's all the questions I have in my hand. Oh, your questions are amazing, and I Thank really love them so it's, much. It's a group <laughs> work, ma'am. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, ma'am. Anyways, ma'am, thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk with you because I know that you are busy day in and day out. It's not an easy work, and in spite of that, you have given me time to talk with you. So thanks a lot for that, and thanks for understanding that. Uh, you know, I'm. Yeah, you have been very understanding and giving me answers. You've been very cooperative, ma'am. Thanks a lot.